But I'm afraid we are going to begin with a night of heartbreak for Newcastle United and their supporters and players and coaching staff because their dreams of reaching the Champions League knockout stages are over after a 2-1 defeat at home to AC Milan. With Paris Saint-Germain drawing at Borussia Dortmund, a victory would have put Newcastle through, but despite taking the lead, they were beaten by their Italian opponents. I thought the lads played very, very very well in that first half and I thought we were we were good value I was hoping the goal would come earlier than it did um, second half we wanted to try and consolidate that and look for the second goal um, really disappointed with the first goal we conceded because I think that's the key moment and we didn't deal with a second phase set play well enough uncharacteristic goal really for us to concede and um, then the game became very transitional it was end to end from both teams both teams looking to win and um, yeah, we conceded on one of those transitions. Well, the result means that Newcastle joined Manchester United in finishing bottom of their Champions League group this season. And that could have big consequences for English clubs next season. We'll tell you about that shortly. But first, uh, let's hit Eddie Howe saying that it's crucial that Newcastle use this exit as motivation. Anytime you don't achieve what you want, you have a setback, you have a disappointment, you have to... Uh, use it as fuel and that's very much always been my way so the pain that you feel now is motivation for tomorrow and uh yeah we, we now have to focus on the premier league and have to try and make sure we uh we get our form in the premier league as strong as we can and for me there's not, nothing but positive thoughts about the team and, and what they're giving um but of course now we have to make sure we're consistent in the premier league I'm a bit worried for Newcastle at the moment, if I'm being honest. I'm a bit worried. I mean, they, they get a bit bare. I was just talking to Steve there. You know, probably ahead of their time getting in the top four last year. But if you look last year when they got in the top four, they had five or six players mm. that played to the absolute max. Could not have got any more out of them. Are they that good enough players to keep on producing that week in, week out, year in, year out? And I ain't sure that's the case. And I think at the moment, I think they could fall short in getting in the top four. So disappointment then for Newcastle United and their group stage exit, along with Manchester United's, could have big ramifications for English teams who are hoping to qualify for next season's Champions League. Yeah, due to the expansion of the Champions League next campaign, two European leagues will be rewarded with an extra place. However, as things currently stand, the Premier League will miss out. Yeah, UEFA will determine which two leagues will benefit from the additional places by its coefficient rankings, which is based on the results of clubs in UEFA competitions. Now, the Bundesliga and Serie A are currently the two leagues in pole position for those extra places, meaning that as it stands, fifth place in the Premier League would miss out. 